Welcome to Shavitz Arena as we preview the St. Louis Billikins for the A-10 basketball season. Alongside is Lisa Stone, the head coach at St. Louis University. She is entering her eighth season here at uh, the head of the Billikins. Her record, 122 and 102 over those previous seven years. She's won over 600 games in her collegiate coaching career. Last year, the Billikens finished 15 and 16 overall, but nine and seven in the A-10. And coach, I know last year it may not have had the winning record you were searching for, but I found it to be a really enjoyable season. You had a very young team that came a very long way during the course of the season. Well, the year prior to that, we had six seniors. You know, the very decorated class of Jackie Kemp and Jenny Valit and Paige Rockers and Maddie Gitts and uh, it just went right down the right down the line. And when you when you graduate six seniors, there's going to be six freshmen, and that's what we had last year, with a UConn on the schedule. And I think that game kind of depicts how exciting those freshmen were that particular year because they went and played the number one team in the country and didn't flinch, didn't, didn't freak out, went in and embraced the crowd. And I tell you what, it was a very rejuvenating year for me. Uh, when you have a lot of young players, it keeps you younger, keeps me younger, and I need all the help again with that. But, you know, so we, we've learned a lot. We've grown a lot. We've matured a lot. We're going to lean on a very small senior class, and Kendra's one that you'll talk to a little bit later. That, that really needs to kind of be a, a stronghold for us in terms of going into the season. But super exciting last year. I, I, it was a lot of fun. It was really a lot of fun. I, obviously, I want to win every single game, but uh, we're hoping to close the gap now on what happened last year because we have some of those young players that are just are that much more experienced. So in the A-10, who do you see as the biggest hurdles to you going to the A-10 tournament and maybe winning the conference and moving on? Well, I, I think it's fair to say that VCU, they return everybody and they tied for the conference championship last year. They, they will be a perennial first team, first place pick. Um, Dayton, they host the A-10 tournament and they're very, very good at home. I'm not sure what their record is, but their A-10 conference record has to be noteworthy. Um, certainly a lot of respect for everybody in the league. Um, there's new coaches. There's a new coach um, at Rhode Island. They're, they're, watch out for them. I mean, I know they've, they're on a, they've recruited a lot of foreign players, and that'll be a whole new look up there. My goal is for our team this year is to go into the A-10 tournament this year with an at-large bid dangling out there versus having to win the tournament to get the NCAA tournament. We want to do something that's not been done. Continuing our preview of St. Louis University basketball here as we get ready for the A-10 season, Billiken senior Kendra Wilkin, a forward from Bartelso, Illinois, is joining me. And Kendra, you are the only real true senior on this Billiken basketball team. How does that affect how you prepare and how you'll play this season? Um, I mean, prepare-wise, I mean, I think I've really look to take like a leadership role this year and I, I would love and I think I have been so far this summer you know just being there for all the girls you know if they have any questions about you know what to expect or like classes you know I'm just kind of I hope I'm and I've been you know helping the girls as much as they possibly can been all like on the court off the court. We have some freshmen coming in this year any of those players are surprising you so far during camp or are you know really showing themselves to be strong newcomers to this mm -hmm. lineup? Um, I would say Rachel Kent has been one of the biggest surprises. Um, not even that she was a surprise, but just the like shape she's in. That's like a big thing for freshmen. They come in and you know, so most of the time they're out of shape, but she's the exact opposite. She's probably one of the most in shape people we have on the team. Like coach said, she's winning sprints. I mean, that's not something that you normally see from a freshman. So, I mean, it's awesome for her to get that, um, you know, like positivity, that feedback and knowing that like she and other girls on the team they're all great girls and they all have great impact on the team, but Rachel has really, um, you know, stepped up her game. For St. Louis University getting ready for the A-10 season. Brooke Flowers is sitting next to me now and she is a sophomore 6'6 from St. Louis. Talk about last year. I, I was mentioning to Coach Stone that you may not have, you know, gotten over 500 in the wins overall you did in the conference, but it seemed like every game you got better as a very young team. Did you feel that way last season as well? Yes, I definitely felt that way, that we got better um, with every game. Uh, and I think that that was good for us because, as you mentioned, we are very young. And a lot of the people that um, were playing with us last year, they're back this year. So I think that now that we all have that experience under our belt, I think it will be a pretty good uh, season. Yeah, you're, you're only sophomores, a lot of you, most of the team, but you are experienced. Uh, talk about that maturity and the fact that you now, you know, having played so much as freshmen, 
you are experienced even though you're sophomores. Um, I think that that's big for us, having that experience. I think that it makes, um, when we get into conference play and we get into the tournament, it makes it a, a little bit easier. Like, conference play is definitely hard and challenging, but having those really good teams like under our belt and just having that experience gives us confidence to go out there and play as best as we can. As we continue getting ready for St. Louis University A-10 basketball, Kaija Harbison drops in. She's a sophomore point guard out of Louisville, Kentucky, as we say it here. How do you say it in Louisville? Louisville, Kentucky. There you go. That's her hometown. <laughs> St. Louis is her hometown now. Kaija, uh, last year you had a very young team. You stepped in as the point guard. I felt like the team got better about every game. It was a fun year to watch. How was it to play? Um, it was very. It was a great experience. I very. I very, I really enjoyed my freshman year and learning from the seniors, and, um, learning from my coaches, and. It was just a fun experience beating Dayton. That was it was awesome. It was just fun all, all around. It was fun. And finally, Lisa Stone, one of the winningest coaches, 600 wins career-wise. Uh, what makes her a good coach? What have you learned from her? What about her has made you a better player over the last year? Um, she's there for every single one of us, um, on and off the court. So we all appreciate that. Um, she's very. She pushes you to you like. Like she pushes you above the expectations. Um, she's very motivational. I love her. <laughs> she's, she's a good coach. Yeah. So you were the rookie of the year last year. Mm -hmm. Can you top it this year? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we're all looking forward to it, that's for sure. Kaija Harbison, thank you very much. Thank you. And good luck in this upcoming season. Thank you. Billikens open the season again November 6th against Tennessee Martin here at Chaffetz Arena. Of course, they'll be battling to make it to the A-10 tournament, which will open on campus sites in March, and then they'll wrap it up in Dayton, also in March. It's almost time to tip it off in the A-10. I'm Brian Kelly at Chaffetz Arena in St. Louis.